Hello, it's Andy Graham of Hobo Traveler. I'm, um, Keep It Simple Stupid is, is needed more than ever in today's society because what happens is, is that, uh, the simplest thing is trying to arrange an appointment now turns into a Charlie Foxtrot because people can't just say who, when, where, what, why, how. Uh, Everybody wants to put modifications to the agreement. Um, I would, I give people, you know, I read the book, The One Minute Manager, I don't know, oof, I was probably 22 at the time, I'm 58 now, and it always made sense, say the, say the go, come back, reaffirm the go, and so I always try to say things simple. Um, I schedule appointments, I had, a, I had somebody that wanted to meet last night, and it was really, we'd text messages, it's in French, right? Je parle français, it's, I can't speak on the phone good. So I arranged a text message, I sent it in French, meet me at uh, 8 o'clock. Uh, the person text messages me at 8 o'clock, of course, saying that, uh, where is the location? So she's basically deflecting because uh, she's delaying it. And she says, okay, so I text message her where it's at. She's already told me before that she knows where I'm at. And then at, at 8.30, she text messages or wants me to call her. She wants to meet, meet her at a different place. So it just becomes an endless stream of communication problems. Like if I didn't have the phone, she'd just show up, right, because she would have no choice. But because of the phone, what these guys do is endlessly renegotiate the deal. And the smarter the person is, is almost the more they do this sometimes. Uh, the simple person just shows up because they're, they don't want to figure out all this stuff. But um, I, I keep thinking about Ma, my girlfriend I was going to marry in Cote d'Ivoire. And I would have been married to her right now if she would have done two things. I, I told her she had to call my mother and father and get to know them over the phone. <clears throat> and she had to return at reason, meet me. I had to have trust that if she showed up, uh, if she met me, um, you know, if I said come at, come over at 2 o'clock, she came over at 2 o'clock. She didn't, uh, did, she just couldn't get serious and realized that I wasn't going to live with the idea that I couldn't depend on the person. All she had to do is say she's going to show up and show up. Uh, people don't get serious and they, they don't realize that the cumulative resentment that builds up after showing up late, you know, one year, two years, three years. The husband, I see so many of my friends that got divorced and it was really quite simple because majority of them just uh, gave a platitude, oh, I'll be, I'll be home in an hour, then they show up three hours late. And this burning resentment after basically, you know, it's not that important one time, but after a year, two years, three years, basically you get divorced because you don't trust the person. You're just tired, you're fatigued, fatigue, they say here. Um, the technology is not helping us because now you, now you have this ability to constantly renegotiate what was a functional deal. A functional, a functional person just says, meet me at the Le Chateau at 8 o'clock, and they show up. And they, they refuse to change the agreement because they know that it just creates more confusion. While the dysfunctional person just keeps going around and spinning. I have it simple. Um, I say meet me, and if a person can't meet me at uh, this, the designated time, I just jete the person. I get rid of the person. Um, it's much easier to have friends that uh, can show up than to have a bunch of thousands of friends that can't uh, do what they say what they're going to do and do what they say. Um, I would be married today if Bob would have called my mother and father anytime she wanted to. She didn't have to do it at a designated time, and she would have. Uh, got serious and realized that 
I was meeting her in Cape Coast, Ghana one time, and she showed up a day late. It's, it's like a burning, burning thing in my mind that, you know, if, if I have a child with a girl and she shows up a day late, I mean, children got to know that they can trust you. And I'm serious. I, I love Ba. I love many girls in a way, but they always think that somehow I have to put up with this tomorrow thing. And uh, whether American girls, I made a lot of money in real estate. And it was quite simple because what I did is I was very good at making appointments. And the people that showed up for the appointments, I always met them at their house so they wouldn't have to get confused in where to show. I picked them, I met them, and if they weren't ready, I basically came up with these ways of getting rid of them and going to the person that would actually show up. Because uh, making excuses and accepting all these dysfunctional things in life is a dysfunctional life. Okay, that's uh, my discussion of uh, one reason why I'm not married. Tonight, let's flip on.